easiest way of doing it is by using magic E. So we're just going to create a keyframe on the first frame, shoot forward to wherever you want to, um, right, shoot forward and set another keyframe for the ground. Right click, magic easing, bounce out, done. It's a bit slow there, so what you're going to do is just bring it in and it just makes it look a little poppier. There are plenty of tutorials out there as well on how to properly do this. I'm just going to show you my quick and dirty way of doing it. Um, sorry for saying quick and dirty, but you'll get over it. So again, just set your keyframe. And I'm just going to shoot forward to 20. And bring this down to negative 440, because that's how I know where the ground is. And I'm just going to copy this keyframe. And then, so this is 20, 20 frames, so I'm just going to shoot forward 10 frames and now I'm just going to shoot forward 5 frames and now I'm just going to shoot forward a couple more and just pasting those in and now I'm just going to come into the middle of these and I make no apologies for how um, crude and simple this way of animating is um, it does the job. So you can see in here all the keyframes in our graph editor. So we're just going to right click and change this to Bezier. And I'm just going to animate that one across. I think I missed one on the end. And let's just see how this looks. Cool. That's a simple way of keyframing it. Just wanted to clarify a few things as well. You can see the difference here between a solid line and a dotted line. So the dotted line means that there's no change in value. So if I just come in here and I tweak this, then it's turned solid. So to add another keyframe, that's one thing I forgot to mention as well. You just double click. Just double click, drag it, then I hit alt click and then expand it out. And then I can just hold shift and drag it out. And for our third way of animating, I have my tomato and I'm just going to throw it into Forge Dynamics. And if we hit play on that, it looks dull. So we jump into our Forge Dynamics setup here. Uh, sorry, it was in advanced. And then we just change this to 0 0.2. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, that could kind of work. And what we can also do is click in our bodies, go to the physics, and change the bounce to maybe 0.7. So just over, just doubling it there. Yeah, and I'm just going to change that bounce down to 0.6. And that's our three different ways of animating a ball bounce.